Hello guys! In this tutorial, we will show you the easiest way to install the Intel 115X CPU block. Keep in mind, if you can piece together these blocks, installing the water block on a motherboard is a no-brainer too. You're gonna need, well, obviously, your Intel 115X motherboard and EK Intel 115X CPU block. And of course, the remote control. Remote control? Ha! <laughs> We're just testing ya. You don't need it. Um, do you? Oh, and speaking of not needing things, that goes for the tools as well. What we need are M3 threaded thumb screws, four pieces, four springs, four M3 threaded thumb nuts, four PVC washers, one backplate rubber gasket, backplate for Intel LGA 115X socket motherboards, and last but not least, thermal grease. Just a heads up, in the package, you will get two different kinds of M3 threaded thumb screws. Those for Intel LGA 115X and those for 20XX. Of course, we need the Intel LGA 115X ones that you'll easily recognize by their length. It's the longer ones. Okay, let's get started. Place your motherboard on even surface with the front facing downwards. The enclosed rubber gasket is the essential part of the backplate and mounting system, so use it anytime you install this water block on the motherboard. Install the rubber gasket and place the metal backplate for Intel LGA 115X socket to the back of your motherboard. However, facing away from the motherboard and make sure that the ribbed side is up. Now align the holes on the motherboard with the holes on rubber gasket and backplate. Let's rotate the motherboard assembly with the front side facing up, holding the backplate and rubber gasket. Next, install four M3 thumb screws onto the motherboard, but make sure that there are plastic washers underneath each of them. Tighten them up to the metal backplate until you reach the end of the thread. Like we said, you really don't need tools, as it's so easy you could do it by just using your hands. Make sure that the CPU contact surface is clean, so use a non-abrasive cloth or paper, and you can combine that with ethyl alcohol to get a perfectly clean surface. Now, we apply the thermal compound to the CPU heat spreader. There's a whole philosophy surrounding how much thermal compound is to be used, but take our word for it. The quantity of about two rice grains is just about right for a CPU of this size. Align the water block over the mounting screws and place an enclosed compression spring and thumb nut over each M3 thumb screw. Start fastening two thumb nuts at a time, preferably in a cross pattern and do not tighten them fully until all of them are partially screwed in. And for the grand finale, tighten the fitting barbs in clockwise direction until the gasket underneath is compressed. Congratulations! The installation of the CP water block is now complete. Hold up, something doesn't feel right. Oh yeah, that's the stuff.